Hey there all you good people, Joe from Joe's Computer Museum. As you can probably tell from my appearance, I just got done mowing my yard. Neat. Hot out here today. Now, I mow my yard using a very weird pattern, kind of a uh, spiral or concentric circle pattern, uh, that for years I've always thought has been easier for me. Uh, just the mental logic in my head says, hey, this will probably take less time and less effort, so let's do it this way. But I've never really done the math to see if that's correct. So. Today, we're going to uh, do the actual math, since I'm a man of science. Let's, uh, let's actually prove my uh, hypothesis and see if it's right. But before we do that, I'm going to go get cleaned up. Whew, that's better. Now, let's dig into my theory and compare it to the way I think that most people actually mow their grass and uh, see if my theory holds up. Now, the way that uh, I've seen most people mow grass, mostly because it ends up in nice, pretty, neat little striped lines, you know, like people will get at the uh, get to the ballpark and they like the way that looks, is they will mow the grass to the end, make a 180 degree turn, come back the other way, and repeat. Now, over the years of mowing, uh, you know, I found that when you're making those 180 degree turns, you're spending an awful amount of time, awful lot amount of time, uh, just sitting there not actually mowing. You're mowing very, very slowly uh, just to maneuver the mower around. So I figured if I change the way I mow to spend less time turning corners and more time actually mowing grass, maybe it'll take less time. Okay. My other theory is this. Uh, if I change the pattern in which I mow from this back and forth pattern, into a spiral pattern where I go to the end, make a right turn, go to the end, right turn, back around and back around again, it's gonna be faster because every time uh, I make a full iteration around, I'm one mower width less wide. So, you know, I'm taking up less time actually uh, mowing the grass there. So let's get into the logic of this and see if this holds up. So let's write down my theory. My way of doing it is faster because each rotation takes one less uh, mower width. I have a feeling that we're going to run into some math problems with that one, but we'll see. My next theory is this. Each turn takes less time to turn. And it takes less time because we're turning half, half as many uh, uh, degrees in our turn. So to figure this out and see if we're right, we're going to bring out some graph paper. And we're going to graph this. So let's uh, get the graph paper in. Let's draw a couple of lots. So let's make some assumptions about what we're doing here. Uh, just to make the math easy to do, to make it easy for you guys to see. Let's assume that uh, the lot that I'm mowing is 10 meters by 10 meters, and each one of these squares is one meter. Okay, So that means we need to draw a lot of 10 by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So we'll do two, two lots this way. So we can do my pattern and then the pattern that other people do. Uh, and we'll see if this is correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, la, 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 la. All right, so here's our graph. So before we get started, let's make some assumptions. Our, uh, our lot is 10 by 10 meters. Let's assume that uh, our mower deck is one meter by one meter square. So it's a one by one deck. 
one square meter. This makes it easy to visualize and easy to math. The, uh, I would presume that the, the math and geometry and everything we're doing here would be the same regardless of any of these dimensions, uh, as long as we're dealing with squares, obviously. So the deck is, is one. So let's make some other assumptions, uh, again, just to make the math simple. Let's, ass let's assume that we can mow this, uh, uh, mow any one strip at one meter per second. Mo velocity equals one meter per second. Okay, that's cool. Now there's one other piece of thing, piece of uh, math here that we need to dig into to see if this is going to be correct, and that is the amount of time it takes to make a turn. So instead of getting into some really insane math that I'm really bad at, I am going to just make an assumption on the amount of time. And again, the actual number doesn't matter so much because we're going to be um, comparing number of turns to number of turns uh, in relation to the amount of time each turn takes. So I could arbitrarily make this number six. I could make it 478 million. It doesn't matter uh, because of the way I'm going to do the math, and you'll see that in here in a second. So let's assume a 180 degree turn equals four seconds. Okay, that's cool. So let's then assume that a 90 degree turn takes exactly half as, amount, as, as much time, and that's going to be two seconds. Okay, those are pretty good assumptions. I think those will hold up. Uh, for figuring out what we're doing here. So, let's start over here and we'll see how long it takes to a normal, everyday, average homeowner to mow a plot 10 by 10 with a one meter mower. So, they're going to uh, basically mow down this way, right? They're going to mow this section, make a right hand turn, or actually a 180 degree turn, and come back down this section and they're going to keep doing this. They're going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So let's go ahead and draw in the strips that they're doing. Dooby, dooby, doo. Okay, so they're going to do strips like this, right? And so say they start here. They're going to mow down this strip. Now, because we know that the mowing velocity is one meter per second and we've got 10 meters here, this takes 10 seconds, right? So then they're going to turn, and this takes 10, and it takes 10, and 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 10, 10. So, 10 meter, 10, uh, 1 meter per second, 10 times 10, well, we know there's 100 square meters here. We know it takes 1 meter per, or one uh, square meter per second to do that. Makes sense. This is going to take 100 seconds of actual mowing time to mow. Now, we have to figure out our turns here, okay? So each of these turns that they take are going to take, because these, this, is a, this is a 180 degree turn, each one of these turns that they take is going to take four seconds. So let's count the turns up. Let's uh, go to a, a different uh, cap here. Oops, there we go. So they're going to be making these, they start here, they're gonna be making one turn, two turns, three turns, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine turns, right? So that's uh, nine turns times four seconds. Nine times four equals how many seconds is that? Nine times four, if my math is right, this is 36. Interesting. So, uh, 100 seconds plus 36 seconds equals 136 seconds. I really wish I could mow at a meter per second and my deck was that wide because I'd mow my grass every day. And at that rate, it'd be a breeze, but whatever. So, let's figure how I mow grass. Now, keep in mind these numbers, because when you look at this, and after I do this math, you're going to be really surprised. Or if you're a math person, you might not be surprised. You might already know, oh, I see what he's doing here. So, let's figure that I start from the same corner. Let's say I start right here, and I mow down this way, right? 
So I mow down that way. I make my turn. Then I mow starting here. Then I mow here. Then here. And let's say this pattern repeats all the way around. So I'll draw it out real quick. Okay, so there's our pattern. Now, let's uh, figure out how much, how much time it's going to take to mow this. Now, I'm going to count this out here in a second, but the basic math still stands. We are still mowing 10 meters by 10 meters at 1 meter per second, right? Those are our constants. So that means no matter how I actually mow this, the amount of time it takes to mow this should be 100 seconds, correct? So I'm going to go ahead and add all of these sections up, though, just to see if my math is correct on this, just to make sure that I'm not insane. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and add that up. 10, 10. This is 9. Oops, cap's rolling off camera there. This is 9. This is 8. This is 8. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This is 7. This is 7. This is 6. This is 6. You see the pattern here? 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6. So this is 5, 5. Four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Okay, so let's uh, add that up. We got uh, ten, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five. Yep, yeah, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. That's a pain in the butt to add. Um, so I did it on a calculator and I can tell you E equals 100 so we know that already we know that this is actually the same amount of mowing time as that okay so since that's 100 seconds all right now let's calculate all of these turns now we we can see already that I've got a lot more turns I'm doing here, but each turn takes less time. So maybe I end up with a net gain or uh, a time here. So I get done, say I get done 20 seconds faster. Oh, that would be great. That's 20 seconds more Netflix I can watch or whatever. So let's figure this math out. How many turns we have? Well, we got one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Well, I screwed that up. Um, there we go. Fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. 18 turns. Interesting. So that's 18 turns. Wait a second. Let's look at this. I have 18 turns on this one, but 9 on this one. Okay. So that means we have 18 turns, but each of these are 90 degree, degree turns, and they take 2 seconds apiece. 18 times 2 is 36. This takes 136 seconds. Well, poopy. So, I thought that this would be faster, when in reality, because of math, because of science, and because of our understanding of how the world works, it takes exactly the same amount of time. That said, I think I'm still going to mow it this way. And you know why? I like the spiral pattern. It looks more mathematical, looks neat, and it makes my yard look different from everybody else's yard. Well, that's all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button or subscribe. And remember, 8 bits, or 8 lawnmowers maybe, is all you need.
you still doing here? Video's over. Go home. Go home.